WordPress 6.6 .6 is just around the corner. At the date of this recording, it's supposed to be released in let's three to four weeks. So we thought we'll take a deep dive into WordPress 6.6 .6 and uh, just give you a perspective on what are the improvements and changes coming to WordPress 6.6 .6 .6 compared to 6.5. At the date of this recording, WordPress 6.6 .6 is still in beta. So if you want to try along and use the same features or test it out, don't do it on a live website. You can use the WordPress beta testing plugin to install it on one of your staging or local sites as I have done so that I can show you the differences live. Let's see what are the difference between or what are the improvements in WordPress 6.6. .6. So I've set up two sites to demonstrate the differences between WordPress 6.5 and 6.6. .6. So with the title, you can see this is WordPress 6.5 and this is WordPress 6.6. .6. So what I'll be doing is demonstrating the features side by side. You can see the changes and understand what are the improvements you can expect when you start utilizing or updating your website to WordPress 6.6. .6. So let me start with the first and the most, I'd say, interesting difference. So the first difference you'll notice in WordPress 6.6 .6 is in the theme editor section. So if I go to the theme editor section in WordPress 6.5, I can go to appearance, I can go to editor, and this is what the interface will look like. It's pretty simple. And you have to go into the, let's say the templates or the patterns to identify different patterns your site has. But in WordPress 6.6, .6, this is a little different. If I go into the appearance section and go into the editor here, the interface initially will look the same, but if I go to the patterns, you'll see now all the patterns, the theme supports will start displaying on the same page and I can go and filter them out so it's a slight bigger bit of a difference. And instead of going into, let's say the footers or another sections, you can find all the patterns right here. And then you can just go in and edit them and make changes to them if you need. So that's the first difference in difference between WordPress 6.5 and 6.6. .6. The next difference between WordPress 6.5 and 6.6 .6 is with visual stuff on the post editor. Now you might remember that in WordPress 6.5, if you edited a basic post or page or any kind of post type in WordPress, the interface would look different and if you're editing a theme pattern or a theme might say section then the interface would look different for example this is wordpress 6.5 and this is the interface for editing a regular post type so if you go back and if you go into the editor for the theme for example i go here and if i edit any pattern for example if i go let's say in a template section and i go here and i actually just try and edit this by clicking this the interface looks a little different now, even though the both are block editors, there was not much, I'd say, justification for why the interface is different. So the WordPress team has made those changes. And now the post type or the, the, the normal block editor, which you can use to create posts and pages also looks quite similar. So this is WordPress 6.6. .6, and this is just a regular post editor. I just created a new post on the site. And you can see now we have the title. And if you click here, now you have the action menu here. You can search for commands and type it in. And you can see the similar design language with the same icons and styles also appearing. So it's more of coming up. WordPress is just, uh, I'd say, merging the identities, identity differences between the normal post types and the block editor and the block editor in the patterns editor. So now users will not have confusion, I'd say, when they're editing anything because the interface looks very much the same. The next improvement in WordPress 6.6 .6 is supposed to be with overrides in synced patterns. Now I say supposedly because in my beta version that I'm using right now, the feature is not present. So it might be shipped in the final version or might be skipped out. So that's why I'm saying supposedly because the feature was announced, I think with WordPress 6.5. So if not shipped with 6.6, .6, it might come in later releases of WordPress. Let me just show you what the feature is supposed to work like because I don't have the full demonstration. So this is a simple, uh, I'd say pattern that I've created. And you can create a pattern in WordPress by just taking one block or I say combination of blocks and just creating a pattern. Let me show, give you an example here. So if I take a regular paragraph prop and I type in text and I just type in an image, let's say, and now if I go to the uh, document overview, I can select the paragraph and uh, the image by just clicking and holding shift. And then if I just use the options menu, I can create a pattern here. And similar to this, now this, if I create this pattern, I can sync this pattern across my website which means that all the content that I add to a pattern, which means the image, the text, any kind of pattern will stay consistent throughout my website. That's a pretty uh, useful feature. But in WordPress 6.6, .6, the override feature was supposed to give you additional functionality. What the override suppose feature supposedly should work like is when you select the actual pattern here, you should be able to go into the block section and there's supposed to be a button called override here using which you can change anything on the block or I say the pattern that is imported or added to a particular page and then change only some elements that you would not like to let's say use as a synced feature. So for example, hypothetically, if I was creating, let's say a call to action button 
for signing up to something let's say i'm hosting a workshop then you can create a pattern with that have a uh, let's say cover image or add a have a let's say a text block and a button block and then you can sync it across your website but let's say for example if you have a particular page where you want to override the button color or the text or even the link to the page that you're referring to then you can just edit it on that page and the rest of the patterns will not be affected so you can override the sync patterns on particular pages and posts now it's a very useful feature because it allows you to create basically templates of your own so you can just add the template change a couple of things and it'll save you time in design but as you can see when I, when I select a pattern in WordPress 6.6, I don't see any features which are supposed to be present in the, I'd say pattern uh, edition or pattern say block, uh, which were supposed to be here. So if, the fa if it changes, I'll leave a pinned comment with the update that, hey, in a future version for which I didn't test, the feature has shipped, but I don't see it right now. So I just wanted to tell you what the feature is, how it works, and if it comes along, I'll just paste an update here. The next big change in WordPress 6.6 .6 is pertaining to how you can manage patterns with classic themes. Let me demonstrate. So this is WordPress 6.5 and I'm using the Astra theme, which is a non-block based theme, so a classic theme. Now, if I go to the appearance section and if I see, you can see the patterns here. So if you create patterns on your site, you can very well manage them in WordPress 6.5. And the interface to manage patterns looks like this. I was experimenting, so you can see, this is a pattern I have created. But in WordPress 6.6, .6, the interface or I'd say the position where the patterns can be accessed is the same but if you click on it then it'll take you to the familiar interface of when you are supposed to look like when you're editing the site with a blog based theme. So basically the interface of managing patterns is becoming more cohesive with the blog based themes and also the classic themes. Now this interface is much more friendlier I'd say it gives you a visual representation of how the patterns look like and it gives you options to filter and do all sorts of good stuff. So this is a welcome change between WordPress 6.5 and 6.6. .6. The next big change in WordPress 6.6 .6 has to do with styles and how styles work specifically for block themes. Let me demonstrate. So this is WordPress 6.5 and this is the familiar styles interface. It offers style options so you can see color palette, the typography options and all the different changes. So in one click you can see everything changes on the site. The typography, the colors and everything changes. Now with WordPress 6.6 .6, you'll have more control over what you need or what you want to change uh, with respect to the design. So for example, this is WordPress 6.6. .6. And instead of choosing just the styles, which was the option here, I can, choose, uh, I can choose only the typography or the color palette, or I can use the style as well. For example, I like the typography, but maybe I just want to change the colors. So it will extract the color palettes present in the styles and present it like this. So if I can just click the colors, now you see the typography doesn't change, but the colors do. So this gives you more control over what elements of the style tabs or what elements of the style you want to change and implement on your site, giving you more control and more, I'd say, beautiful options to customize your website. Another change in WordPress 6.6, .6, which is supposedly going to shift, is block styles from theme developers. Now, this is a feature which developers can use and also will benefit end users like you and me. And the feature is simple. Let me describe it and then I'll demo it. So with any kind of block we have, or say whenever you import a block, add a block, and you add a template, add a pattern, it will inherit the styles that you have created in the template or the pattern. Now, block themes, or I'd say developers of themes, developers of these patterns can add overrides to individual blocks as well. Let me demonstrate how it is, should look like, but right now the feature is not present in my version of beta 6.6. .6. .6. So let me just demonstrate. So this is WordPress 6.5, by the way, and how the feature is supposed to look like is Basically, if you select any block or a group block, you have some style options. And these are the styles options. You have colors and backgrounds and all these changes. This is not new. But how it is supposed to work like in 6.6 .6, or at least when the feature shifts is when you have these options, similar to how you have styles in patterns or in the block editor, you have predefined styles you can use. So theme developers will be able to ship styles with respect to blocks as well. So you might see a dark option or let's say two, three color options so even for blocks, you can mix and match the color styles without having to change every color manually. And this also gives you the option of consistently applying colors to blocks without having to do all the manual work of changing the colors. Now, as I said, it's not shipped yet, or at least not in my version of WordPress uh, beta 6.6. .6. So if it comes along, I'll mention those in a pinned comment or in the description of the video that this feature is also going to ship or has shipped already. The next big change in WordPress 6.6 .6 has to do with how you design pages and it's going to be a welcome change for designers and end consumers alike. Let me give an illustration. 
If you wanted to design something or I'd say a page in WordPress 6.5, you had the option of using the column blocks, right? You could type in columns and then you, you would uh, arrange the columns somehow and just add stuff. It wasn't great. But WordPress 6.6 makes a huge improvement over this feature or functionality by giving you an additional new block. And the block is called the grid block. So if I just type it in, grid, you can see it's a new block in WordPress 6.6. And this will give you the option of automatically creating grids or even manually overriding grids and just customizing stuff. For example, you can see I have the option of auto or manual. I can change the minimum column width. I can enhance it. I can make it bigger, smaller, depending on the page layout. Or I can just do it manually and then just click around. I can just add the block here. And if I've selected manual, I can just drag it and then change the width on my own. So this gives you great control and this will completely work great on mobile mobile as well because the column block block didn't work very well with mobile, especially with complicated designs. So this is again a huge, I say, big improvement over how we think or how we will design stuff in WordPress 6.6. Another small change between WordPress 6.5 and 6.6 .6 is the introduction of a new keyboard shortcut that will allow you to group blocks automatically. So this is WordPress 6.5 and if I have to group these two blocks together, I will have to just select those blocks either use this icon here or click in the options menu and then go into the group option to group these blocks. And once I do group these blocks, it looks like this and I can go and ungroup them. In WordPress 6.6, .6, we have a new keyboard shortcut, which is Command G or Control G, depending on the OS you're using. So I've selected these blocks and I'll just press Control G because I'm on Windows. And now these blocks are grouped and I can ungroup them manually. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a keyboard shortcut to ungroup blocks. That would have been cool. But again, small change, but I think improvement over the UI or UX of WordPress 6.6. .6. Another big change in WordPress 6.6 .6 has to do with how updates and rollbacks work. Now, a lot of people do not uh, turn on automatic updates for their plugins because they believe that, hey, maybe a plugin ships an update that breaks the plugin or breaks my entire website. Now, WordPress 6.6 .6 is addressing it by introducing automatic rollbacks. So if a plugin update actually breaks your site, WordPress 6.6 .6 will roll back the plugin to a previous version automatically. I couldn't make it work right now, but I'll hope to do some tests and I'll let you know in the description of this video out of the pin comment that if I was able to make it work by breaking some website or breaking a plugin. And if it works, it's an amazing welcome feature because I've had this happen to me. Automatic updates have broken a couple of my websites. So if this happens automatically, I'll be glad and understand or I say really appreciate WordPress actually making this feature as a work on WordPress 6.6. .6. All right, friends, those are the most major improvements to WordPress 6.6. .6. There are a few developer related options. I haven't covered them in this video, but overall there have been 97 improvements and 101 fixes in WordPress 6.6. .6. So overall 206 improvements or fixes in WordPress 6.6. .6. My favorite new feature is the sync block overrides. I think they'll be very, very useful when designing websites and also the grid based new block. I think those are the two exciting features. Which is a feature that you are most excited to use in WordPress 6.6? .6? Let me in the comments, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Make sure to subscribe to continue your WordPress education. And my name is Yuvraj, you're watching WP Beginner, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.